we're here after months of waiting and I'm sorry, but we are here. We finally made it to my very first video on my brand new channel where I'm going to teach you how to crochet like me. Well, maybe not completely like me, but all the tips and tricks that I have learned along the way on my journey in the world of crochet that I wish I would have known when I had started. I'll just teach you all the ins and outs and everything that you need to know to crochet. To get started, we are going to begin with the most basic of basics, like the basic, basic, basics, and that is a slip knot. So you're not gonna need a crochet hook for this video, just yarn to learn how to do a slip knot. It's kind of like the main thing that you need to know to begin crochet in general. I'm gonna show you how I do my slip knot. Now it's a couple of extra steps than what you'll probably find in a lot of other videos, but I prefer the way that I do it because I have never once in the world of my crochet journey, work, I've never once had this knot come undone. Super easy, so we're gonna show it to you right now. Take whatever yarn that you are using to practice with, and I just want you to just nicely wrap it around your index and your middle finger. You're going to cross over the top and bring it out the bottom. And then you're going to wrap that tail around your middle finger. And I want you to then tuck that tail up through the hole that you created around your index and middle finger. And then I want you all in one motion to slide that loop off of your ring finger, your ring finger, and push that tail through and pull tight. And there you have a working slip knot. And the reason I like this so much is because unlike other methods, this is a legitimate knot. So if I pull on this, it's going to just create a knot. It's, it's not gonna come undone. There, there's no pulling this out if you remove your hook or anything like that. Like it is a knot. So. To continue, the next two videos, I'm gonna show you two different ways of starting a crochet project. There will be a chain foundation and also a single crochet foundation. I learned about the single crochet foundation like years into my crochet. So I wanna show it to you right off the bat because it is my go-to way of starting a project versus a chain. But to get you at least on your way, I'm gonna show you both ways of doing this and we'll go from there. So if you are ready to learn how to crochet and just jump in and get going, stick around. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss anything that new that I post or anything like that. And in the comments, because this is the first video, let me know where you're coming from. Did you jump over here from my TikTok? Did you find me on Facebook? Like, where are you coming from? Let me know so I can just kind of know, I guess. I'm, I mean, it's, I guess it's not really that important. I'm just curious. Anyways, you have a great day. Go ahead, practice that slip knot, and I will catch you in the next video.